It was an accident, a heated argument that went too far, the wind was blowing furiously, as a storm was brewing on the sunstreaked horizon, but we chose the rooftop to have our chat, we needed privacy, and in a work firm as crowded as ours, the roof terrace was the only place no one could overhear us, so it was perfect, but I forgot how aggressive my counterpart could be, how forceful, and I should have known at least one of us was going to get hurt. I knew my friend was unqualified, he never went to university, never held down a job for longer than six months, he never needed to know the graft of hard work, how to hustle to stay alive, then his parents died, and suddenly, he was alone, the family swept like vultures pecking at the jewels, the liquid cash, twisting the words on documents to grab handfuls of assets and by the time he was finished mourning his past life, he had nothing to his name. Fast forward a few months, and he managed to charm his way into the firm I worked at, we were old friends, but I was made on scholarships and hours of dedicated work with dents in my fingers from gripping pens and endless hours of typing, he knew my job, my salary, and in a pitiful state I coached him through the interview. The biggest regret of my life. Someone at the firm figured out we conspired to get him a role and for morality's sake wanted to expose the truth to an eager reporter, the firm would lose millions in client compensation for having an unqualified lawyer work such prominent cases, I would lose my license to practice and everything I poured myself into would just disappear into nothing, years of hard work, only to start from scratch again in a different field, I couldn't do it, I needed to stop him. We went to talk, up the winding stairs, each footstep fueled with anxiousness attempting to shroud my desperation with confidence, I saw him for what he was, the sun bouncing of his outline revealing a tall man with physical strength, not someone you would want to get into a fight with, he had a reputation for a quick temper, and strong intuition, the latter making him a brilliant lawyer. We spoke, and I watched the clouds begin to roll in, I spilled my friend's backstory, begged him for my job and reputation but he wouldn't budge, out of frustration I pushed him, harder than I thought, and he tumbled backwards losing his footing, and silently falling over the edge. Shit. Not thinking, just acting, I watched as the rain started to pour heavily from the sky and I raced to the fourth floor, where he landed on the balcony after dropping 13 flights, the floor was closed for renovation, and I was praying to whatever deity listening that it was all empty. My prayers answered, it was a ghost town, his blood was being washed away by the heavens and I struggled to pick him up, carrying his lifeless body on my back, I sat him up in my car and drove, I just drove, chucking my phone the window, I could never go back now, I can only run. I came across a dense woodland with a small clearing and began to dig with the gardening tools I had left in my boot, my hands began to blister and bleed, my back aching with effort, my face dripping with sweat and tears, but I never stopped, I never stopped. The hole was deep enough as I dragged the lifeless body into the ditch, I paused to say a prayer, the worst part was looking at him as I began to fill in the hole with dirt. Then he twitched, I think, he made a slight movement, but I couldn't be sure, I paused and began to poke him with the shovel, he moved again and gasped into life like a man who had just been drowned. He looked deep in my eyes and we both looked at each other motionless, gotcha, he said. I look up and see the police swarming around me, 